to school here, remember? I mean now. I went to see how rehearsal was going. How come you're not over there? I make the costumes. I don't act. That's what I like about you, Kelly. You're not a phony. You don't pretend that you're something you're not. Oh, what's your hurry? Look, I just came to get my chemistry book, OK? I have to go. You've been thinking about me, haven't you? No. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about you. Thinking about how nice you were that night. Come on, Ian, I really have to go. Mrs. Young, how is she? Can I see her? How is she? Is she going to be all right? Physically, the doctor says yes. But emotionally, it's going to be difficult. She's going to need a lot of support. Do you need a little time before we go in? Did you a stranger? No. Someone you know? He's in my class. Ian Hall, report to the office. Ian Hall. Now, what the hell? Are you sure you don't want to call your parents, Ian? Under the circumstances, they might want an attorney here. No, it's OK. I got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong. Kaylee Young says you raped her. Oh, that is so ridiculous. Are you saying you did not see her last night? No, I saw her and, you know, we did it. But it sure as hell wasn't right. Was this the first time you and Kaylee had sex? No, ma'am. At any time last night, did Kaylee tell you no? Did she resist in any way? Kaylee resist? No, you know, she was the one who wanted to. She always wants to, and not just with me. She's just one of those girls, you know? No, I don't know. Well, Kaylee's sort of a tramp. Mom, I'm not hungry. Just a bite, Kaylee. You need your strength. Why? Because we're going to fight this. Mom, how can we fight what's already happened? I just want to sleep, but every time I close my eyes, I see you in the face. I know. I just wish I could erase that all, honey. I wish Dad was here. Me too. What do you think he would do? Kill him. Or want to, anyway. I promise you, I'm not going to let Ian get away with this. What happens next? Is Ian arrested? It's not that simple, Diane. What's not that simple? My daughter was raped, and we know who did it. Ian Hall says the sex was consensual. Well, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. He also says he had sex with you before. He's lying. Isn't he, Kaylee? And he claims that you've had sex with several other boys recently. Now, is that true? Part of it. Which part? He really did rape me. Why would I make that up? What about the other boys? Did you have sex with them, too? Tell us what's going on, Kaylee. We need to know everything. You're going to have to sooner or later. I can't help you until you do. Thank <sighs> you. 
I wish we'd never moved here. Mom, what should I do with this one? Oh, that should have gone into storage. Kaylee, honey, what's wrong? It's just Dad's whole life is in the suitcase. How can you just put it away? It's just some of his things. It's not like we're giving them away. Mom, why can't we have them around the house? Because I think it's just too painful for us. Mom, I want to be reminded of him. OK. Maybe just a few special things. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I gave this to him on Father's Day. We found this on our honeymoon. Thank you, Mom. Waldron, school counselor. Do you like the board? If you ever have anything you want to put up, be my guest. I asked you to come see me because I thought you might be having a little difficulty adjusting to a new school. Figuring out the lay of the land, making friends, that kind of thing. Seems pretty normal. What's well, normal? Normal. Books, lockers, homework. I just like to meet new transfer students in person. Let them know I'm here. So how are you feeling? Fine. And how are things at home? All right. You miss your father? How did you know about my dad? It's in your file. I know he died in a car accident six months ago. Seven. That's still pretty fresh. So it's just you and your mom now? hard to grieve. Most people try to avoid it at all costs. I'm fine. Can I go? Sure. Kaylee, I'm here whenever if you need to talk about anything, not just your dad. Thanks. <laughs> Alone, but not for long. Hey, man, you got a girlfriend. Yeah? But she doesn't have that body. That's true. school counselor and the girl in my class. Well, what did the counselor have to say? She knew about Dad. It's in my file. Was she nice? I guess. Well, what about the girl in class? Kim, it's OK. <laughs> you know, Kaylee, you're going to have to reach out a little bit more than that. 
Well, I'm not exactly a dynamo. Excuse me? I'm not like you, Mom. I can't just talk to anybody. Besides, it's only my first week. You're right. There's plenty of time. Now, how about dinner? Your call. little drawings you do in the margins of your notes. I'm not that good. Sure you are. And we're talking a Midsummer Night's Dream. Big fairies, little fairies, king and queen fairies. Hey. Hey. Hey, Ian. This is a close rehearsal. Well, that'll be cool. No, I mean it. You can't stay unless you behave. Don't I always? Where is my That's Ian, Lee's boyfriend. Here. Think about it. You can tell me tomorrow. I'll run <sighs> Yeah, I, I tell you the warning. I'll run from thee. I'll run from thee and hide me in the brakes and leave thee to the mercy of the wild beasts. Kaylee? Dinner. Kaylee. I'm thinking of getting involved in the school play. When do auditions start? I want to design the costumes. Well, acting's fun. Why not act in it? Why can't you be happy that I want to do the costumes? Of course, I'm happy. Uh, whatever you want to do is fine with me. I think you'd be a wonderful costume designer. Thanks. OK, dinner's ready. Fateness constraineth me to measure out my length on this cold bed. By day's approach, look to be visited. Oh, weary night, oh, long and tedious night, abate thy hours. Shine comforts from the east, that I may back to Athens by daylight, Athens. Athens by daylight, from these that my poor company detests and sleep. Shakespeare sure knew about love. It really is like you're under a spell. You mean you're under Justin's spell? Yeah, but I want him to be under mine. Maybe you could whip up a potion, put it in his water bottle. <laughs> Split. End of rehearsal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hot off the press, party tonight at the Sailing Club. Drama people only. And we're going to have a good time. We have to go to that. Come on, Kiwi. <sighs>
lovely Javaka people and assorted fans. I should have worn jeans. No one around here wears vintage. No one around here has any taste. You look great. We've seen each other around. I'm Ian. Ian Hall. And you're... Kaylee. Kaylee? I've never met a Kaylee before. You're my first. Look, can you help me out, Kaylee? I need a ride. I gotta get up early and go fish with my dad tomorrow. Don't you have a car? No, not here. I came with friends. What do you say? I'm sorry. I can't. You're shy, aren't you? By the way, I like the outfit. The girls around here don't dress up very often. What are you staring at? It's just you have very pretty eyes. Thanks. Don't you have a girlfriend? Mm, not at the moment. Drive carefully, Kaylee. Don't you still need a ride? No, another time. Gotta go. Oh, piece of cake, huh? I can have her anytime I want to. <laughs> Think she's easier than Jack and Edom? Yeah, easier. Same bet. Oh, you're on. <laughs> you're on. You guys are truly degenerate. <laughs> oh, I gotta set up like a bowling pin. All I gotta do is. Oh, knock her down. Strike. Nice. <laughs> to rehearsal, just randomly. And then I went to a cast party. It's very simple. If you call, then I don't worry. If you don't, then you'll be grounded, period. I thought you went out to dinner with clients. I've been home for hours. Mom, I'm sorry. Did you have a good time? Yeah. I didn't think I would, but I did. But next time. I know. Phone. Hey. Hi. You look great. Elizabeth Barrett Browning, huh? Romantic. I like romance. I was fishing with your dad. Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, didn't go. Why not? I got home too late. How about you and I go catch a movie this week? What about me? We broke up uh, at the party. How come? It's a long story. Catch you later? Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're really lucky Will is our lab partner. He actually understands this stuff. I got my first chemistry set when I was six. Blew the house when I was ten. I lost three fingers. 
I'll go get the chemicals. He likes you. He's not my type. Who's your type? Well, I don't know if he's my type or not, but Ian Hall asked me. Ian? Well, what about Lee? They broke up. Ian Hall. Well, all I can say is be careful. Be careful? <laughs> of course I'll be careful. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> said there was love at first sight for him. Well, it was different for me. I came to love your father more and more as time went by. Sometimes that's better than love at first sight. Do you believe in love at first sight? Well, there are certain people who can just strike you the moment you meet them, but usually that's just lust at first sight. <laughs> Why? No reason. Would it be okay if I go to a movie tonight? Oh, sure. As long as you, uh, you know, I know, call me. Curfew. Come on. I'll race you to the seawall. So, you, uh, you sure it's okay we didn't go see a movie? Oh, I love the beach. Oh, especially at night. The moon on the water and the city lights. It's beautiful. Yeah. How quiet it is. I saw you, I wanted to hook up with you. I noticed you, too. Anne, do you think you can hold me? Sure. got together with Ian Hall. He asked me out well. You didn't have to say yes. Hey, it's turning pink. It's supposed to. It's a titration. Ready? I guess, but I don't quite know what I'm doing. Calculating the amount of sodium hydroxide needed to neutralize the hydrochloric acid. I guess. Listen, we're calculating here, not guessing. Tedious night, abate thy hours, shine comfort from the east, that I may back to Athens by daylight. From these that my poor company detest. What is it? I need to take your measurements for your costume. I don't know why we can't just rent costumes. If I could just start with your arm. No, forget it. How am I supposed to fit you? I'm a perfect size six. I'm sure you can figure it out. Come on, Lee, you're being ridiculous. No, forget it. You're not touching me after what you did with Ian. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Look, he said the two of you broke up. Yeah, that's right. For a couple days. I knew he'd come back. Lee! Guys, we gotta rehearse. Save it for later. All right, gather around, everyone. I have some notes. Right. Now, specifically, 
You've got to get on with the text. We can't wait all night for you. And you've got to stop waving okay, around. Okay, Kaylee. I found out how much the costume budget is. It's three hundred dollars a night. Kaylee. Just deliver your line. Hey, Kaylee. What's going on? I mean, I thought you and Lee were broken up. Yeah, we got back together. It just kind of happened. Happened when? This morning. Thanks for telling me. Oh, hey, Kaylee. You know how I feel about you. And I like you. Yeah, you like me enough to take me out. Hey, you wanted it too. You said it was good. We had fun. But I don't understand why we just. I gotta go. Double or nothing? I have her within a week. You're on. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. It's okay. I have to study for a test. Just saying. You're Kaylee, right? We haven't met. I'm Brian. Listen, I uh, I know Ian isn't the most sensitive guy. I went to kindergarten with him, and he's always made the girls ball. What? He probably just wanted to make Lee jealous. Look, I really don't want to talk about it. I know. You just seem like such a nice person, so. Really nice, stupid person. Don't do that, Kaylee. Don't put yourself down like that. No guy's worth that. Especially not Ian Hall. Now you're talking. You ever been to the web? The what? The web. It's this cool coffee house. I mean, they've got computers and stuff. It's a great place to study. Maybe we can go sometime. Maybe. Cool. Kaylee. We're not all users, you know. Uh, yes. Hold on a minute. Kaylee! Will? Hi, Will. It's okay. Apology accepted. Don't worry about it. Tonight? I can't, but maybe the three of us can study for the midterm? Okay. See you later. Bye. So what was that all about? Nothing. I'm off to the library. I expect you back by 9.30. You worry too much. I'm a mom. Why don't you uh, head on upstairs? I'll get you a drink. What could I get for you? Um, diet soda with lime? Done. Wow, Kaylee. What are you doing here? I'm meeting someone. I've just been browsing the Shakespeare website. There's some really neat stuff on it. Soda with lime, Kaylee. Thank you. Well, I'll see you later. Who's that? My lab partner. Weird boy. Shall we sit? I have to be home by 9.30. My mom thinks I'm at the library. Your parents divorced? No, my dad died. I'm sorry. When? Last year. It's got to be tough, huh? Yeah. When uh, my parents divorced, my dad moved to L.A. I mean, I know he's not gone, like, forever gone, but I still miss him a lot. Does he ever visit? No. I go see him. Summers, mostly. But it's cool. He's got a boat, and we'll cruise to Mexico. <laughs> well, we only did that once. <laughs> I like your hair. I not like my hair. Get out. It looks great. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.
I gotta go. Did I do something wrong? No, you were great. So, see you at school? Yeah. See ya! Why do you bother to knock if you're just gonna walk in? Well, excuse me. You know, your clothes won't get wrinkled if you just hang them up, Kaylee. Just a suggestion. Mom, they're my clothes. It's my room. Is something wrong? Something I should know about? No, why? Well, you're just acting a little... I'm just tired. Sorry I snapped at you. Okay. Sweet dreams. Uh, yeah, I'm late for class, so I'll see you around. Brian! Kaylee, would you back off? All right, just back off. What's this all about? I don't know. Do you know who did it? We need to talk. I have to go downtown to a meeting, but come by my office tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, okay? Yeah. What's going on? Nothing. It's not what I hear. What is it? Oh, you don't want to know, Kaylee. Kim, will you just tell me? The rumor is that Ian and Brian bet they could both sleep with you. What do you mean they bet? Oh, it was $50 or something, and they're saying you did. It's not true. I know. I know, and that's what I've been telling everyone, that they're just saying that because you're new. Kaylee, these guys are such pigs. Hey, aren't you coming to rehearsal? I left the fabric at home. I'll be right back. writing slut on your locker. I don't know. You have no idea? No. It was written in lipstick. I think it was a girl. I guess you don't want to talk today. There's just already too much talk. About? Just that I went out with some guy. Used to be called dating. Now he's back with his girlfriend. So you think it was the act of a jealous rival? Maybe. How do you feel about him going back with her? I don't feel anything. I just went out with him once. And for that, they call you a slut. It doesn't make sense. Can I go? I have a math test. One second. I want you to have this. What is it? It's a journal, blank pages. Write in it, draw in it, whatever you want. Do I have to show it to you? Only if you want. <laughs>
Miss Young. Come on, we've been going over this for two weeks. This is easy. And so is she. <laughs> well, Miss Young, what will R be? I'm sorry, what was the question? May I ask why you're taking this class if you don't come prepared? I hear she does come prepared. <laughs> all right, what's going on here? What's this all about? Settle down. good being popular for a little while. I don't feel like I'm on the outside looking in all the time. But then it feels terrible. And I feel so alone. And I can't talk to mom about it. I can't. I just wish you were here, daddy. Don't you have homework to do? It's all done. Okay, then help me slice these. Did you have a good day? Well, I had a sale fall out of escrow. How was your day? Not too great either. What happened? Nothing. I just couldn't solve this problem. In math. Oh, I was never very good in math either. Your father used to always handle the finances. Expect him to walk through the front door. Me too. Okay. And we're feeling sorry for ourselves for at least 24 hours. Deal? Deal. What's for dinner? Salmon. Brain food. Maybe it'll help you with your math. Aren't you finished? Just have to do the sleeve. By the way, I've ignored all the rumors. What rumors? About you and Ian. I'm just glad he told me the truth. What did he say? He said that you came on to him and he wasn't interested. He was interested, Lee. Was interested. Ow! Look, Kaylee, I mean it. You just stay away from him. What's her problem? You're the last one. Can you stand right here? I'm gonna need to cut this extra material. Be careful. Don't cut anything. Just hold still. get to you. She can be a real witch at times. I don't know. I have to pretend I'm in love with her. It's not that easy. It's not. She's got no soul, no depth. If she did, she'd be a much better actress. Anyway, whatever she said to you, just forget it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Make 
making me feel better? Yeah, you're different than Lee. What do you mean different? you like everybody else how could you i mean why justin did you deliberately go after him because you knew i liked him no kim it just happened it didn't just happen kaylee you wanted it to happen kim i didn't mean to hurt you you didn't even think about it no i didn't you know what everybody's right It's me. It's about 9.30, and I just wanted you to know that I stayed late at school to do costumes. I'll be home soon. Bye. It's almost 11 o'clock. What's going on, Kaylee? Nothing. That's not good enough. I was worried sick. All you do is worry. Of course I worry about you. I don't want another late night phone call from the police. You think I don't remember that night? I wish I had been in the car with him. Don't you ever say anything like that to me again. Do you ah. understand? Let go of me. I feel like I don't even know you, Kaylee. I'm just going through a tough time right now. Then talk to me. Don't shut me out. I'm on your side, remember? Mom, please, I just want to go to sleep right now, okay? Okay. I do love you, Mom.
track you down because you've been ignoring my notes. I've been busy. So busy your grades have been dropping? Come on, let's go for a walk. I know what the rumor mill's been saying. What's that? That you've gotten a reputation. Is that supposed to mean? You tell me. Too many partners, and you increase the risk for getting a sexually transmitted disease. You sound like a public service announcement. It also leaves you vulnerable to being the target of a lot of cruel gossip. Tell me, do you like sex? Sometimes. Is it satisfying for you? Sort of. You like the attention? I like the feeling. Not feeling. Not having to think of anything else. Like what? Kaylee? I want to stop, but I don't know how. I mean, every time I'm feeling lonely or depressed or whatever, I just... I want to mess around with a guy, any guy. Sounds like a fix, a fix which isn't working. What should I do? One, you need to work on your self-esteem. Two, you have to tell your mom what's been going on. Why? Because she's your mother and she should know. How do I get self-esteem? You have to build it inside yourself little by little. Anything else doesn't happen overnight. For starters, don't do things that make you feel bad. Do things that make you feel good about yourself. Nothing makes me feel good about myself. Ever? At least, not since my dad died. He fell asleep at the wheel on the way home from a business trip. His car jumped the guardrail and crashed into a van. Three people were hurt, but only he died. Where were you when this happened? Sleep. I slept right through the phone call. It's okay. It's okay. You're not going to tell my mom, are you? No, but I hope you do, soon. Hi. I checked in with the sewing class, and the costumes will be ready in a week. So that gives us a week for all any alteration. Damn. I'm missing some data. Oh, do you want to look at mine? I'll get it from Will. Kim, look, Kim, I seem to have a problem with guys. No kidding. But I'm trying to deal with it now. I'm really sorry, Kim. I didn't mean to hurt you. You're the only real friend I've had for a long time. He was just a crush. I'm thinking about changing lab partners. Why? Because you guys aren't pulling your weight. It's me, isn't it? No. Look, you and Kim stay together. I'll find another partner. I think we should all stay together. That's easy for you to say. He's hurting. <sighs> the ads are in and the first open house is Sunday. Yes. It's too bad they didn't remodel the kitchen. All right. Bye. Mom, I forgot my chemistry book in my locker and I need it for my lab report. I have an appointment. Why don't you just take my car? Are you sure? Here. Thanks.
school here, remember? I mean now. I went to see how rehearsal was going. How come you're not over there? I make the costumes. I don't act. That's what I like about you, Kayla. You're not a phony. You don't pretend that you're something you're not. Oh, what's your hurry? Look, I just came to get my chemistry book, okay? I have to go. You've been thinking about me, haven't you? No. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about you. Thinking about how nice you were that night. Look, Ian, I really have to go. understand that this young man's story is very different. It wasn't at all the way he says it was. You mean consensual? He raped me. Why won't you believe me? I want to believe you. What happens now? I don't know. I mean, without more evidence, this is a classic case of he said, she said. What does that mean? That means it's Ian's word against yours. And his lawyer will put your whole sexual history on public display. He will try to embarrass and humiliate you. But Ian Hall raped her. I know that, but without more evidence or an eyewitness, I don't think we can win. And Kaylee could get badly hurt in the process. She's already been hurt. We just have to somehow get you what you need. Come on, Kaylee. Mom, do you want some hot chocolate? No, thanks. Did you have sex before this, back in Redwood? Mom, I don't want to talk about it. Guess what, Kaylee? We're going to talk about it. What if you'd gotten pregnant or gotten AIDS? But I didn't. We took care of that. With how many boys? With boys you hardly even knew? What in God's name were you thinking? I thought they liked me. That's pathetic. You don't get popular by sleeping with every boy who winks at you. Mom, I know what I did is stupid, okay? I've just been really unhappy lately and felt screwed up. Why didn't you talk to me? I couldn't. I'm sorry. Oh, Kaylee. Listen to me. You've made some stupid choices, but that doesn't mean that you're stupid or that your life is suddenly over. We all make mistakes. The trick is to learn from them and move on. Mom. Oh, honey. Mom, I can't go back to school. It was bad enough before. They're all gonna say I asked for it. But I didn't, Mom. I swear I didn't. It's all arranged. Kelly doesn't have to go to classes for two weeks. You can pick up and leave off her assignments through me, and I'll make sure they get to the teachers. And after two weeks, reassess, see how she's doing. I'm happy to talk with her at any time, but I think she needs some intensive one-on-one -on -one professional help. None of this happened in a vacuum. Is there someone that you can recommend? I know a good facility. I'll set everything up. Thank you. Socially, Kaylee's always been a bit of an outsider, even before her father died. Why would she let herself get into this situation? You don't believe she was raped? No, I believe her. Sounds like you're trying to convince yourself. It's just that when you look at this person who's been your child, your baby, the most precious thing in your life, and then one day you don't know who she is, or what she feels, what she thinks, what she does when she's away from you. You both have had a very difficult year. 
That's an understatement. I know you're angry about all this, but why wouldn't I be angry? First, my husband dies in a car accident, and then we move and my daughter starts sleeping around, and then she gets raped. you damn right I'm angry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to vent. It's okay, vent away. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, how about a double scotch on the rocks? I have mineral water or tea. Tea, please. So what are they saying at school? I did it with them anyway, so what's the big deal, right? So, oh my God. I know they're wrong, though. I don't care what happened before, Kaylee. He's bigger and stronger, and I'm sure he forced you to do it. Thanks, Kim. What does Will think? He's confused. About what? I think he had a crush on you. Now he doesn't know what to think. Do you believe me? Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Kaylee, fancy meeting you here. Don't get any oh, closer I just to me. want to talk to you, all right? Now, I know you don't believe me, but I seriously never meant to hurt you. Okay, I was attracted to you, and I thought you were attracted to me. Get away from me, Ian. You know, you're not the only one who's suffering here, okay? If you just talk to me, talk to me, maybe we could work this out without all the legal hassle. There is nothing to work out, Ian. You raped me. Was that one of your bets, too? You'll never prove it. You'll never prove it. You'll just screw everything up for both of us. Get away from me. Think about it, Kaylee. Think about what you're doing. Do you think we can get this ex-girlfriend to talk? Oh, forget it. She hates me. Is it going to take a miracle to arrest this kid? Not a miracle, just a witness. Maybe I should just forget the whole thing. Let him get away with it? I know, but what can we do? Well, in cases like this, it's sometimes helpful if the victim agrees to take a lie detector test. I'm not taking a lie detector test. And why not? Because I'm telling the truth. Then you have nothing to be afraid of. Ah. Oh, I've got a jury coming back. Why don't you uh, think about it and call me later? See you. OK. Kaylee, I think you should do it. Take the test. Get it out of the way. Let everyone know that you're telling the truth. Who needs to know, Mom? Would you always wonder if I was telling the truth? I know you're telling the truth, Kaylee. I'm just afraid no one else knows it. Hello? Kaylee, remember what I told you? Time's running out. Who's that? Ian. What did he say? It wasn't what he said, it was how he said it. Did he threaten you? happened once before at the beach. Why didn't you let me know, Kaylee? That's it. That's enough. expression, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. What does that mean? Ian's father's as big a jerk as his son. I told him if Ian didn't stop threatening you, I was going to get a restraining order against him. And he said, if I did that, they'd sue for defamation of character. What did you say? I said, that was fine. Anything to get your son on the stand. Maybe I'll even tell the truth for once. And then I walked out the door. Good for you, Mom. We're not going to let them beat us, Kaylee. So I guess I was pretty surprised. 
I believe you, though. You do? You don't think I'd believe him, do you? I guess I just don't understand how you could let those guys take advantage of you. I guess I didn't like myself very much. I like you. I mean, I would like myself if I were you. Well, I better go. I gotta study for a French test. Well, I hope we can still be friends. Do you want to go to the place Saturday night? And then maybe after you and me and Kim could get something to eat or something? I'm not sure if I'm ready to see people at school yet. You made the costumes. You should go. I'll think about it. screwed up and it's kind of embarrassing to talk about it with them. I know, honey. But everyone there, you know, they feel the same way you do. And I think it helps to know you're not alone. What do the leader says? Remember, it's just one step at a time. I know. So how's studying going? Good. I ran into my lab partner, Will. He asked me to the school play this week. Well, do you think that's a good idea? I mean, it might be awkward, honey. That's how I felt at first. Then I kept thinking about what you said. We can't let them beat us. Mom, Will's right. I made the costumes. I deserve to be there. If I don't go, then Ian's won. Then I think you should go. You're here. Hey. Hi. I gotta go get seats. I'll see you in there. Your costumes look incredible, Kaylee. Everyone, they look awesome. Kaylee, Johnny, you should go over this one more time. So at the beginning, make sure that everyone is on their marks. And once we get to this spot here, that she's facing stage left because last time we couldn't see that side, okay? All right, I'll see you out there. I gotta go check on ticket sales. You did a great job on the costumes. Thanks. You know what? The sleeve is loose. Let me just get my box. It'll only take a second. I want you to know you did me a favor. Breaking up with Ian for good was the best thing I ever did. I'm sorry about what happened to you that night. You mean you believe me? I'm just sorry, that's all. Look, Lee, if there's anything you know, anything can help. I'm still gonna press charges. I want to. I just need a witness or someone he told about it. Well, don't look at me. You saw him that night, didn't you? Look, breaking up is one thing, but going to the police. Then you do know something. You could help me. No, I didn't say that. You know, the sooner you forget about this, the sooner everyone else will. It's not something you can forget about, Lee. And I don't want anyone else to either. Please, Lee, if you can do anything at all, please. I thanked you. It was hard enough. Five minutes. Bye, Mr. Curtain, everyone. We have to get going. Have fun out there. Oh, that's great. So it helps, right? At least you know she's telling the truth. Well, I've got to go. I'll talk to you later. And thank you. Diane, two different friends of Grant Hall called today and withdrew their listings. They said something about you accusing Mr. Hall's son Who is of... this guy? The mayor? He's a very influential developer. So what happened to my daughter is hurting business. Don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that you drop the case. We don't have a case. Real estate's a people business, and people are talking. I know, Kurt. How do you think I feel about all this? You met Kaylee. She's been to hell and back since her father died. Now, she didn't ask this hall boy to rape her, and I can't just ask her to forget the whole thing. If that's a problem for the company, I understand. I'll just find another job. No, no, look, I'm very pleased with your work, and I hope it all works out. Thanks.
now, Lee. I have to leave. We're getting out of here. Leave me alone. Haley? Mom? Hey. What are you doing here? I just came to see your costumes. They were beautiful, honey. Thank you. This is Kim and Well. Nice to meet you. Kim? Well? We're just gonna head out and celebrate. You're welcome to join us. Well, thanks, but I have to prep for an open house I'm having tomorrow. You guys have fun. Thank you for coming. Mm, I'm so proud of you. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay. She's pretty. She's nice too. <laughs> so, where are we going? Mm, how about the web? change schools, are you? If the DA decides to press charges... I hope he does. Shouldn't. I mean, not because I want you to go to a different school. I know. Excuse me. You did a good job tonight. Thanks. After rehearsal, I walked to my car. You saw what he did to me? I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't want to believe that Ian... How could you see it and not have done something or said something? I don't know. I guess I felt some kind of twisted sense of loyalty. I was afraid. Lee, you've got to go to the police. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Lee, you've got to. Or he'll do it to someone else and think he has every right to. Realty. Mom. Kaylee? Lee Ebersol saw everything. She was there the night in the parking lot. She saw the whole thing. Are you sure? Yes, and she said she'll testify. Can you believe it? We have our witness. I gotta go. Bye. to you that Ian Hall did not deflower Kaylee Young. And it'll be even more obvious that he certainly didn't need to rape her. Kaylee Young knew what she was doing when she arrived at Carfield High. She knew how to use her experience with teenaged boys to get exactly what she wanted. My client asked her out. And on the first date, much to his surprise, they had sex. And within a month, and at her insistence, they had sex again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, my client is being unjustly accused of rape. Kaylee Young was a confused and troubled teen who used sex as a crutch to compensate for feelings of low self-worth. Yet just prior to her brutal rape by Ian Hall, she had recognized her problem, and she was attempting to do something about it. But the defense wants you to believe that once a female is sexually active, any male can do anything to her at any time for any reason. They claim a woman with a reputation no longer has the right to refuse or even complain if she is forced to have sex against her will. Once labeled a slut, she's fair game. Of course, a young man like Ian Hall can be just as promiscuous. And he isn't ridiculed, he's admired even envied for his sexual conquests. The truth is, Kaylee Young had consensual sex with Ian Hall once, and the second time, he raped her. Now, Kaylee is here today to see justice done, and she's put herself in an extremely vulnerable position. Whatever her past, she is now ready and willing to take responsibility for her actions and for her life. And to make sure that Ian Hall doesn't rape again. How do you think we did? 
Okay. I see where they're going, and I'm hoping it's going to backfire. Just remember, Kaylee, the most important thing is to remain calm. They're going to lie, they're going to exaggerate, they'll do anything to make Ian look like a choir boy and you the devil. Excuse me. Yes? You're kidding. Why? Okay. Thanks. That was my assistant. Lee Eversall has decided not to testify. What? What are you doing here? Why did you change your mind? I just did. I want to know why. It just wasn't worth it, okay? He hasn't threatened you, did he? No. No, he hasn't. Stop! I heard you've been talking to the police. They came to me. No, that's not what I heard. Stop it, Ian, you're hurting me. Not half as bad as I will if you show up in court. Do you understand me? All you have to do is get up on the stand and tell the truth. What could he possibly do to you? It's not like I'm putting you in jail if I don't testify. No, you're putting every girl Ian meets at risk. Not every girl. You're at risk right now or you wouldn't be doing this, Lee. Just leave me alone. Then the DA's gonna subpoena you. Then I'll lie. That's perjury. I don't care. So, please tell the court, Kaylee, why you and your mom moved to Seattle. My father died, and my mother was transferred to another office. How long ago did your father die? About 10 months ago. Were you close to your dad? Yes, very close. So maybe you thought being intimate with a boy might relieve the loss you felt over your dad. Objection. Leading the witness. Sustained. And you don't deny that the sex you had with Ian on your first date was consensual? No. Why do you think you wanted to have sex with Ian so quickly? I guess I was just looking for someone to love me. Did it make you feel closer to Ian? No, I thought it would, but it didn't. Mostly, I felt more in control. Of what? Of my life. Somehow I fit in. And did you feel in control on the night of March 20th? No, not at all. What did you feel that night? Scared. I kept telling him to stop, but he wouldn't. Stop it, William! He dragged me to his van and got on top of me. No, stop it, Ian! I tried to move him, but he was too strong, too heavy. And then I guess I just blanked out. No! Blanked out? Just kind of left my body until it was over. Have you ever blanked out like that before? Once. When? I know this is difficult for you, Kaylee, but when did you blank out like that before? It was when my mom woke me up and told me that my daddy had been killed in a car accident. Thank you. No further questions at this time, Your Honor. Now, Miss Young, in the last four months, how many boys have you had sex with? Objection. Sustained, Your Honor. Under the circumstances, I think I need some leeway here concerning Miss Young's attitude towards sex. Then rephrase the question, Mr. Ritt, but be careful. Miss Young, do you think having sex with several different boys in one month is a sign of uh, promiscuity? Probably. I'd appreciate a simple yes or no answer. Yes. Thank you. No further questions. You may step down, Ms. Young. I was doing all right until that lawyer started questioning. You did fine. Kaylee, you're doing the best you can. That's all that counts. Then why do I feel like we're going to lose this? Don't even think like that, Kaylee. Mom, even if Lee does tell the truth, I might not believe her. It took a lot of courage for you to go through with this. I don't think I could have done it. And you're dealing with your problems. As far as I'm concerned, you've already won, no matter what happens. And then you had sex on the first date, just like that. 
Yes, sir. I don't want to get prurient here, so let's move along to the evening of March 20th. What were you doing at your locker at 7 p.m.? I was getting some stuff out, and that's when I ran into Kaylee. Did you ever consider Kaylee Young a potential girlfriend? No. Never. Why not? You don't date a girl like that. She's easy. She's a tramp. Objection. Sustained. Strike from the record. Ian, isn't it true your girlfriend, Lee Eversall, broke up with you on the night of March 20th, just prior to your attack on my client? Objection. Hearsay. Overruled. It's relevant. Answer the question, Mr. Hall. We were always breaking up and getting back together. So, that must have made you angry that she was breaking up with you again. So maybe you decided to take it out on somebody instead, somebody you perceived as a tramp. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. And I might remind you, Ms. Hart, you objected to the use of that word earlier. Yes, Your Honor. Ian, do you know the difference between consensual sex and rape? Yes. And what's the difference? Consensual means you both want to do it. And rape? One person forces another person against their will. Have you ever forced a person to have sex with you against their will? No. In a recent Western Medical School study, nearly two out of three teenage boys said that a man had the right to have sex with a woman against her consent if they'd had sex with her before. Do you agree with that finding, Mr. Hall? No. So you don't believe you have the right to have sex with a woman again because you had sex with her once? Your Honor, my client has already answered the question. It's a different question, Your Honor. Answer the question, Mr. Hall. No. I mean, only if she wants to. When he was talking up there, I swear I just wanted to start screaming. Well, it's a good thing you didn't. Here. Comfort food. Mom, why did Dad fall asleep at the wheel? You know why. He'd been working too hard. He'd had some setbacks, Kaylee, and he was trying to get back on his feet. I kept telling him he was pushing too hard. But he wouldn't listen. Why didn't you make him listen? You've got to stop doing this to me, Kaylee. And to yourself. None of this would have happened if Dad was still alive. We can't control everything that happens. And we can't live our lives feeling sorry for ourselves. Some things we just have to accept. There are some things you don't. That's why I'm so glad that you're standing up to Ian Hall. Hopefully he tells the truth tomorrow. So do I. Your Honor, I would like to call as a rebuttal witness Miss Lee Eversall. The night of the rehearsal, Ian and I had a fight. What happened? He pulled me outside and started yelling at me about how much time the play was taking me away from him. So I told him to let go of me, and it was over. You say you asked him to let go of what? My arm. He always holds my arm real tight when he gets mad. Does he get mad often? Yes. When was the rehearsal over that night? Around 7. I headed for my car. And what did you see, Lee, as you headed towards your car? Nothing. At first. And then I saw Ian and Kaylee. No, Ian! Less than an hour after I broke up with him, he was having sex with her. Consensual sex? I don't know. Did you hear anything? Did you hear Kaylee Young say anything to him? Lee, did you hear any words spoken at all? I'm not sure. Think hard. Did you hear Kaylee? No, stop it, Ian! No! Yes, I heard her. And what was she saying? No. 
She said no and stop it, Ian. What did you think Ian Hall was doing to Kaylee Young that night? I don't know. Yes, you do, Lee. What was Ian doing to her? Forcing her. To have sex? Yes. But Kaylee Young was trying to resist. Yes. So in your estimation, as an eyewitness, Ian Hall was raping Kaylee Young? I need an answer, Lee. Did you see Ian Hall raping Kaylee Young? Yes or no? Yes. We are very, very happy with the verdict and the message that it sends to the community, which is just because a man has sex with a woman doesn't give him the right to have sex with her whenever he wants. I think that's it for now. These people uh, deserve a rest. Take care. All the best. Bye, Kaylee. Oh, come you should be so proud of yourself, Kaylee. This wasn't easy, but you didn't back down. You stood up for yourself and you won. You think Dad would be proud of you? Oh, I know he would be, sweetie. I miss him so much. I just hope somehow he knows I'm gonna be okay. He knows. He loves you. So do I.